Warning messages on computers. How very annoying. Hey, what the? Wait, wait. G give over here. What, what is all this nonsense? Right, g get rid of all that. Yes, warning messages. What a problem. So much of a problem that people just ignore them. And that is the expected result of something we have seen of repetition behaviour. This is an article in the register that they've taken from Usenix Enigma talk where several academics have been using brain scanning methods to see how people handle computer security and its resounding result. And the resounding result is that our brains are biochemically working against us in this realm. Vance and his team ran a series of volunteers in a functional MRI or magne magnetic resonance imaging system and displayed a series of 40 real-world security warning messages. They found after just the second warning, the amount of attention the subject paid to it dropped off and fell further with each repetition while boredom rates grew. It was a demonstration of a known problem, habituation. It was demonstrated in the IT world with Windows Vista, which in its early incarnation spammed up so many security warning messages that users just got used to, click to clicking out of them tried varying the design of security warnings by changing their colour, font and even making them wobble slightly. This dramatically improved attention rates among subjects. Interest still declined, but much more slowly, as people weren't as bored. And in the Q&A section, a Google engineer mentioned that it mirrored their own experience when Google pushed out messages on their search page warning infected users that they needed to clean up their systems. We saw a lot of users clean up their systems, but many ignored it and never sorted out the issue, he said. After a few weeks, we changed the background colour warning from yellow to pink and saw a massive increase in the number of users fixing the malware. I have to say this is one of the reasons why I like using Linux, because there are so few warning messages. Literally, one of the only warning messages I want to see is when I close a program with a document that I'm working on. It says, would you like to save your changes, yes or no, or cancel? Perfect, because maybe I do want to save my changes and I had just forgotten about it as I was about to close the program. Or maybe I don't and I'm not interested, so yeah, carry on. Perfect warning message. Yeah, that's about the only one I want to see. But of course, there are so many others. When I have to use Windows at work and you just download a file from the internet and go and open it up and it says, are you sure you want to open the file? I'm like, yeah, obviously. I don't care that I've just downloaded it. I want to open it now, so do as you're told or all the various pop-up boxes that each application needs updating because it has no central management of updates. And there are even more, and I could go on for ages, but... I've poked a lot of fun at Windows so far in this video, haven't I? Okay, the other aspect of warning messages, SSL warnings in the browsers. Of all the companies I've worked at, none of them have got signed certificates. So all the time you see, this is a self-signed certificate. Are you sure you want to continue? Like, yeah, obviously. Why, on a local area network, do the browsers still have to stop and warn you that it's a self-signed certificate? Like, the warning has got to be less of an impact when it's a local network. It was completely different if it was an internet site and I was exchanging credit card information with them. Yeah, I would like to be warned at that point, but seeing it everywhere dilutes the message. And did you know there are other variants of SSL certificates? Probably most people don't realise because they just ignore the messages that they see so much at work. Like they've got out of date certificates and certificates signed for a completely different domain. Oh, that's a bad one actually. Certificates signed for a completely different domain. Could mean your own computer is infected or the website is <laughs> screwed up somewhere. Out of date certificates, not so bad. And back in 2015, Google had to redesign security warnings after a study showed that 70% of Chrome users ignored them. But as we go onwards now, we're starting to see Google show even more warnings, and this is on the HTTP pages, where you might be entering password or credit card information over a non-encrypted link, a HTTP rather than a HTTPS page. So you can see the warning changes to not secure in the address bar. Yeah, it's not so bad. I suppose it does draw your attention to it, but it's not asking you to say yes or no. That's the worst thing when you're asking someone to say yes or no, because they're just going to automatically say yes. I wish I could find it now, but there was a study I saw some time ago about displaying malware warning messages. And it said something along the lines of, warning, your computer is about to be infected with malware. Would you like to continue? 
and the default button highlighted was no, so they offered you a choice of yes or no. And the majority of people clicked the yes button. Hmm. Showing people just ignoring warning messages. So if you're a programmer, software designer, and you absolutely have to display a warning message, make them more interesting. Make a bit of variety. That shows is the only way you're going to get someone to take notice of the warning. Look, if it's not that severe, just display the message, but don't ask for a yes or no response to continue. So that was a look at why computer warning messages are so ineffective. Thanks for watching. See you all later.